This week on The Lookout, catch up on all the latest news, including Kim's convenience actors revealing the show's lack of diversity in the writer's room, the latest film and TV releases to add to your watch list, a Filipina-Japanese golfer making history at the U.S. Women's Open, and much more. You can catch all of this here on The Lookout. Last week, Simu Liu took to Facebook to express frustrations with the lack of consideration for Asian voices while creating the storyline for Kim's convenience. Jean Yoon also publicly voiced how the producers of the show did not accept more input from the Asian Canadian cast members, and both stars, along with other cast members, expressed concerns after some of the show's storylines were overtly racist and culturally inaccurate. Here are six new film and TV releases to add to your watch list this weekend. In the Heights, directed by John M. Chu, Skater Girl, a coming-of-age sports drama directed by Manjari Makijani, Wish Dragon, a Netflix animated movie starring John Cho and Jimmy Wong, The Misfits, a high-stakes heist movie with Jamie Chung and Mike Angelo, Treze, a Netflix original anime based on the award-winning Filipino comic series starring Shay Mitchell, and Starstruck, a rom-com series streaming on HBO Max. Award-winning dance and director team Kioni and Mari Madrid choreographed the dance featured in Us Again, the first Walt Disney animation short to come out in five years. MGM label Orion Pictures has picked up the rights to Michelle Zahner's critically acclaimed memoir, Crying in H Mart, with Stacey Schur and Jason Kim on board to produce the feature film adaptation. Zahner's indie pop music persona, Japanese Breakfast, will also provide the soundtrack for the film. Boy band Korean Soul, made up of singers Soo Young, Young Jae, Sean, and Ji Hwan, showed off their pipes in a rendition of All My Life by Casey and JoJo in the second week of season 16 of America's Got Talent. The performance earned a standing ovation from AGT audience members and four yeses from the judges, with Simon Cowell saying it was probably one of the best auditions we've had today. Fashion designer Alexander Wang is presenting his pre-fall collection through a short film called Sisters, starring Ashley Wang, Yoa Mizuno, and Pia Chitsmarin. The video depicts the three women overturning old rules and showing their power while in Wang's new designs. The collection from the film will gradually be revealed from June to August on social media and the designer's website. Half Filipina, half Japanese golfer Yuka Sasso won the U.S. Women's Open at 19 years old after a slow start in last weekend's tournament. She's the first major champion, male or female, from the Philippines and ties Inby Park as the youngest winner the U.S. Women's Open has seen. Hmong American gymnast Sunisa Lee is on track to earn a spot on the Tokyo Olympic team after placing second behind Simone Biles at the U.S. Gymnastics Championship and is set to compete in the U.S. Olympic Trials on June 24th. The competition also marks the first time in two years that Lee was supported in person by her father after an accident left him partially paralyzed. That's all for now on The Lookout. Tune in again next week for another recap of the biggest headlines in AAPI Entertainment News.